Hoka did it again. When we thought it couldn't get any crazier from a midsole point of view, Hoka went ahead and made cushioning madness. And on top of that, they added a carbon plate and racing foam. Today, you are getting the full review and our honest opinion about this shoe. Is this a shoe worthy of your money or should you stay far, far away? In a few minutes, you'll know everything there is to know about this monstrosity of footwear. But first, we would love for you to be a part of our running community here on YouTube. Click that beautiful button under this video and turn the notifications on. In in order to get weekly updates from exciting new running gear to life-changing tips to make running easier and much more enjoyable every single time. Now for the specs. The Skyward X integrates a knit upper with a midsole composed of PIBA and supercritical EVA, along with a carbon fiber plate. The shoe is also marked as vegan, appealing to environmentally conscious consumers. The stack height is 48 millimeters at the heel and 43 millimeters at the forefoot in the men's shoe and 46 millimeters at the heel and 41 millimeters at the forefoot in the women's with a five millimeter drop and a very noticeable rocker design. All that stack adds up to a heavy 12.6 ounces or 357 grams for a men's US 11.5. That's the specs. Now how does an insane looking shoe like this perform and feel underfoot? Well I can tell you one thing. The stack is definitely no joke to say the least. The Skyward X is a big shoe but a deceptively smooth and quick one. In my opinion this one should be called the Bondi X instead of Sky would X. It feels just as soft and secure as a Bondi, but with a faster personality. It protected my legs well when pounding down hills, even when going uphill. I was surprised by how smooth and easy it was to pick up the pace for such a big shoe. Don't get me wrong, it is heavy. It feels lighter than what the scale tells me, but you can still feel the added weight in comparison to a shoe like the Asics Super Blast. I would not use this during any types of hit trainings, like intervals or shorter, faster runs. But for longer runs, I didn't feel like the weight was that that noticeable. It is just extremely bouncy. So, if you like that very cushioned feel, but you want an added energy return from something like a New Balance Moor or a Bondi, the Skyward X might be a perfect match. However, if you are more fond of ground contact, feel and stability, you might want to look into something like the Puma Deviate Nitro 2 or the Asics Noosa Tri-15. This one is not all about comfort though. I found myself running faster than usual during every long run with the Skyward X. The reason has to be the carbon plate and Piba foam propelling me forward and also the tall stack protecting me from feeling any soreness. This model fits true to size and has a flat knitted engineered mesh upper which feels very nice actually. It was also more breathable than I expected. For you guys that watch me regularly you know that this is not really my cup of tea. For a shoe which is designed with these materials I would want it to have a much snappier ride and be much closer to the ground. Even during my longer runs like with the Max 6 from Hoka or something plated like the Asics Metaspeed Sky plus. For $225, this is not a shoe for me. But if you are looking for that chunkier feel, if you have any types of injuries, if you have a heavier step or just enjoy not feeling the ground for some reason, this might be a shoe for you. The fit was great according to my long and narrow feet and it actually felt roomy in the toe box. But if your feet are wide and shaped like a brick, it might feel a little tighter over the midfoot. So what's the verdict? For me, there is two things that you probably already know at this point. It is too much weight and too expensive. By all means, if you you want to try it for yourself, go ahead. But my advice, look into something with a better return on investment. And that is exactly why I made this video right here. If you like the high cushioned and comfortable feel, here are the five most comfy shoes of 2024. Shoes with carbon plates, all rounders, and just something to use every single day in your regular life. This video is a must watch. Go ahead and click right here to find out.